Dear students, in this lecture we are going to discuss power developed by a three phase alternator that is synchronous generator. First we will discuss for silent pole machine and then we will discuss for cylindrical rotor machine too. So for silent pole machine the phasor diagram is like this. Here we have ignored the armature resistance RA. RA has been ignored as we are going to ignore the copper losses in armature windings of an alternator. So th this is induced EMF and this is terminal voltage. We have discussed the details of each and every component of this phasor diagram in our previous lectures. So if someone asks what is power output at terminals, we have synchronous generator generating electrical energy. So terminal voltage per phase is V and armature current phase current is IA. So we may write power output, let us write P out is equal to V I A cos theta, whatever we have written cos theta or phi power factor angle theta. This is per phase power output. If we want to get total power output, then we need to multiply with 3 if we are dealing with actual quantities. But in case of per unit quantities, just mark this word per unit quantity, the things will be different. This will be total power output, 3 phase power output per unit. This will be total power output V per phase per unit I A per unit cos theta. The details of it has already been discussed in per unit system lecture. If you want to go in detail how this represents three phase power when V per unit I per unit are represented in per unit, no need to multiply with three. So you can watch per unit system lecture, fine, okay. So what will be power developed? Whatever power is developed, let us represent it by PD, that will be equal to this power output plus copper losses. So as discussed, this we have ignored, that is why we have assumed RA as 0. To make our calculation easier, we have ignored RA. So whatever uh, power output expression will be derived, the same will be assumed to be equal to PD. But keep in mind that the difference will be of copper losses. Whatever expression for power developed we will derive, that will be equal to power output and once you will add copper loss then that will be equal to power developed. Fine. So if all these quantities are represented in actual values, so this will be per phase power output. In per unit quantity then this will be total power output. Fine. In actual quantities if you want to get total power output as discussed earlier just multiply it with 3 to get total 3 phase power output. So uh, here substitute this value and write here V i a cos theta. What is this is V i a cos theta will give you projection of i a along V and the two components of i a along D and Q axis are represented by i D and i Q as we know this phasor IA may be written as ID phasor plus IQ phasor. So we may write the same V into component of IA along V component of IA along V phasor, IA cos theta, 
right? We may write magnitude only, no problem. Magnitude will be I a cosine theta projection. It means V into component of I a along V will give you component of I d along V and component of I q along V as the sum of these two phases is equal to this. So, we may write component of I d along V plus component of I q along V. So, this V may write V times magnitude of this perfect voltage component of I d along V so that will be I d times cosine of angle between V and I a. What is angle between V and I d? Angle between V and I d. So, angle between V and I q is delta it means and this is 90 degree angle between d axis and q axis. It means angle between V and I d is 90 degree minus this delta. So, component will be I d cosine 90 minus delta you may write I d cosine 90 minus delta is sin delta. So, directly we may write sin delta plus component of I q along V, I q along V that is I q cosine delta. So, in order to get expression for P d that is actually power output. with this assumption. Our next target will be to remove these two quantities I d and I q. So, first write these two quantities in other known quantities. So, from here we know that if this is V then this will be V cosine delta and this will be V sine delta. So, from here I q x q may be written as V sine delta we may write I q x q is equal to V sin delta and from here we may write I q separately V sin delta upon x q. Similarly, we will try to get I d in terms of other known quantities and we will then substitute I d and I q here and these two quantities will be replaced. So, this is I d x d this will be equal to this in this parallelogram this side is equal to this side as in earlier case this side was equal to this side I q x q is equal to V sin delta similarly this side will be equal to this and this is nothing but E minus this and this is V cos delta. It means we may write this magnitude I d x d this magnitude is equal to this that is this minus this. So, this will be equal to magnitude E minus V cos delta. From here I d may be written as E minus V cos delta upon x d. Now, substitute these two values of I d and I, I q here. So, we may write V into I d is E minus V cos delta upon x d I d right times sin delta plus this plus sign. What will be I q? So, I q is V sin delta upon x q into this is cos delta. Simplify it. So, we may write multiply this E v I am writing E first V e or E v E v sin delta upon x d we have written this component minus V square 
phi square sin delta into cos delta. I am writing sin delta first, sin delta upon x d plus this v into v again v square sin delta into cos delta upon x q. So, take common. So, we may write E v upon x d sin delta take plus term first and we are taking sin delta into cos delta. We know that sin 2 sin delta cos delta sin 2 delta directly write sin 2 delta. So, multiply 2 in numerator and denominator. So, we will write plus v square by 2 we have multiplied with 2. So, we are going to divide with 2 that is why this is v square by 2 then sin 2 delta right v square by 2 sin 2 delta that is sin delta into cos delta may be written as sin 2 delta by 2. So, this is plus 1 by x q this minus sign 1 by x d right. This means we may write is equal to E v by x d sin delta.